Hey Cornerstone, I hope you're doing well today. You know, I have the pleasure of being a middle school teacher and one of the things that middle schoolers love to do is they love to ask a ton of questions. Sometimes I'll explain the directions for an activity and I'll see hands start to shoot up and kids asking, well, what do I do in this scenario if this happens or what do I do over here? And sometimes I confess that me as a teacher, I can get a little bit impatient and say, oh man, I just explained that. Weren't you paying attention? Weren't you listening to what I just said? But you know, I am so thankful that our God is a God who desires us to come to him with our questions, to come to him with our burdens, and to come to him with our pain. You know, this past week has been a difficult one for many in, in our body of Cornerstone, and for me and my family as well. I lost my grandmother just this past week to the COVID-19 virus, and it was something that was so sudden. It came kind of out of nowhere, and then within just a day, as the symptoms started to pick up, that was it, and, and she was gone. And you know, with that, that left me with a lot of pain. That left me with a lot of questions saying, God, I don't understand, why did this happen? Why did she have to, to go this way? Why couldn't we be there in the room with her to say goodbye and to have that, those closing times with her? But you know, God desires us and he doesn't turn us away when we ask questions. He desires us to come to him and he wants to take that burden from us. This is what Jesus says in Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 and 29. He says, come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. You see, Jesus wants us to come to him with our burdens. He says that we can come boldly before the throne of grace, that we can obtain mercy and help in time of need, that we can cast our cares upon the Lord, for he cares for us. You know, I always find it amazing that the God of the universe, the creator of all things, that he cares so deeply about me. He cares about my questions. He cares about my pain. And you know what the Bible says is that he has a God that understands it as well. You see, Jesus suffered and was tempted in all points. And because of that, Jesus understands pain. He understands what it, what it means to, to, to feel lost and to be confused. But because of that, he is a God who is near to us and can be a comfort to us in our pain. And you know, I found such peace in that. I found such peace in just coming to the Lord. You know, sometimes we think of that we have to come to God with these, these fancy prayers and, and all these traditional things, but we can come to God in this relationship and just saying, God, I don't understand. I don't get it. And you know, he doesn't always guarantee to give us the answers. But what he does guarantee us is to give us grace and to give us his presence. And I've felt that, and I know my family has felt that this week, just feeling the presence of God as we come to him in humility. And you know, one thing that this loss of my grandmother has shown me as well is that, you know, we're never guaranteed in this life a goodbye, right? Sometimes we have these thoughts as to, you know, how, how we're gonna go and how those times are gonna be, but we never know when that day is going to be. So maybe you're watching this video, maybe you stumbled upon this on Facebook or on YouTube, and you know maybe you don't have a relationship with the Lord today. Can I encourage you that he desires you so badly, that he wants you to come to him, he wants to take your burdens from you, he wants to take your sin and to cast it as far as the east is from the west. All he calls us to do is to come, to believe that Jesus died on the cross for you and rose again, and in that we can have life. So in the midst of all this pain, in the midst of loss that we are feeling as a world, many of you being hit by that personally as I've been this week, just know this, that God loves us so much that we can come to him with our pain, we can come with our burdens, with our heartache, with our questions, that he will not turn us away. He desires us to cast our cares upon him. He wants to take those cares from us. He wants to be a father to us, a loving father and a comforter. I pray that we would do that today. If you're watching this video and you don't have a relationship with Jesus, would you drop a comment here? Would you send us a message? We would love to share with you about how you can find life in Jesus Christ. God bless you.